Hello everyone, welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. First of all, I want to apologize to all of you for my infrequent and irregular uploads because I was really really busy. But at least, finally, we have finished the joint app series, which I'm really happy and I believe you will also be happy about. Now let's take a look at the finished application. We have gone from a toy app into a fully featured, fully functional drawing application. So now I've, we have added options to change the brush size as well as the opacity. It is really, really cool. Okay. You can upload to the app store under your name. And you can also go on to further expand on this application. After all, it is your application. So I hope you're as excited as I am to start this tutorial. And without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, let's get started by open, opening up our drawing app Xcode project. Alright. So now because we're going to change the brush size, we need to have a variable to store the value of the brush size. Let's make this of type CG float and let's set this to 5.0. Now I want to scroll down to context.set line width and I want to change this to brush size so that whenever this set line width function is called, it will use whatever value is in the brush size. Alright, so now let's go into the prepare for side wave function. What you want to do here is go to type in settings vc dot plus size equals to plus size. So we're going to do the same thing self dot plus size equals to brush size equals to settings vc dot brush size so essentially what we are doing here is that we are passing the value of the brush size in between the settings field control as well as this view controller similar to what we do with the red green and blue variables so now it's giving us an error because we don't have any brush size variable defined in the settings vc controller so now let's do let's define that now. So just that's right below the blue variable. I'm gonna say var brush size cg float and let's give this a value of 5.0 like so. Alright. Okay. So now let's go to our draw preview function. And what we're gonna do is type in UI graphics begin image context and we want to pass in the image view dot frame dot size so essentially what we're doing here is that we are trying to start modifying the image view in such a way that we will be able to preview the brush size and it's going to look really really cool now let's get the current context like how in our draw lines function in the view controller so your graphics get the current context now we want to set the stroke color of this to be of the UI color. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. All you can all you can do is just copy this entire thing, paste it here, close this bracket, and make sure you convert this to a CG color. Now, what we want to do is to set the line width to whatever the brush size is. So after we have added the brush size, all we need to do is to set the brush cap. So set the cap, the line cap. So I'm going to set this to type round. Okay, so after adding the line cap, what we want to do is to move the context to a specific point. And in this case, we want to move this context to the center of the image view. And if you remember, we have set it we have set the image view to have a width of 140 and a height of 140. Hence the center of the image view will be 70 pixels by 70 pixels. After that, we want to add line 
and same thing we want to keep adding a line to the center of the image field which is 70 and 70. So now that we have kind of add all the moving and adding the lines function what we want to do is to finally to actually stroke the path and after we have stroke the path what we want to do is to set the image view dot okay looks like there's some error here context dot stroke path and i forgot a parenthesis at the back now I'm gonna set the image view dot image equals the UI graphics get image of the ground image context and finally because we have begin image context we need to end the image context so we are graphics and the image context all right so now that we have done all of these let's allow the user to change the bus size value. And to do that, let's first get the slider from the sender. I'm going to force typecast this as a UI slider. And then I'm going to set the bus size to be equal to the slider dot value. And because this is a float, we need to convert this to a CG float like so. And finally, I want to call the draw preview function. Let's pass in the red, green and values there. Red, green, blue values. And now let's go to our uh, main.storyboard and let's click on this slider here. I want to set the value to 5, the minimum to 1 because we don't want the user to have a bus size of size 0 and we want to set the maximum to 75. I think that's appropriate but you can set the maximum to whatever you like. After all, it is your application. But for me, I'm just going to set it to 75. So now what I've just did is just, I've just run the application and I'm going to see how it goes on an iPhone 7. Okay, so now let's try drawing. Let's go here and just change the brush size and... It's not working for whatever reason. Hmm, this is funny. Let's go back and take a look at what's wrong. What went wrong? Uh, first of all, we need to change, we need to remove these. We don't need that at all. And, hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Hopefully it works this time because what we're doing there is that we're just setting the background color, which is entirely not needed. Let's go here and bada wing bada boo. So we can do the purple and we can increase. Excellent. And then we have our own color with a varied brush size. How cool is that? So this is really, really cool. You can set it black and Go back. The color value should be updated. Let's decrease the process to something big. So you can now select different colors with different brush sizes. Now let's do the same for opacity. Go back to our view controller. And let's have another variable called the opacity value. And this should be up to a CG float as well. And let's set this to 1.0. Let's make sure to copy this so that we can use this in our settings VC. Alright, let's go to the view controller and quickly change the necessary values. So how changing the transparency value of the brush size, um, of the brush, is all we have to do is just change the alpha value here. I'm going to change this to the opacity value. Okay, so now... Let's scroll down and let's see what else do we need to change. All right, we need to add some here. Let's say settings VC dot opacity value equals to opacity value. 
scroll down and then once it's self the opacity value equals to settings vc dot opacity value so essentially what we're doing here again we are switching the opacity values back and forth from the view controller as so the settings vc now let's go to the settings vc and scroll down opacity in the IB action of the opacity change we have a slider here sender as a US slider essentially we're essentially what we're doing here is we're force uh typecasting this as a UI slider okay so now that we have grabbed a reference to the slider through typecasting this as a UI slider what we want to do is just change the opacity value to whatever the sliders value is so we need to convert this to a cg float because slider dot value returns a float then we're just going to type in slider dot value and last but not least we're going to finish off with a draw preview function and let's pass in the red green and blue arguments respectively and in the here in the alpha, I want to change this to opacity value. Let's try to run it and see how things go this time. So you can draw as usual, nothing goes wrong. Now, how cool is that? Now you can adjust the opacity of it, change the color, as well as change the brush size. And you, you kind of see this really, really cool effect, okay? This is really amazing. So now, we have gone from a simple toy drawing app application into a fully-fledged, fully functional, fully featured drawing application, which is guaranteed to wow someone. So I believe this concludes the end of the drawing app series finally. So once again, I apologize for the irregular uploads of the drawing app series. Really apologies because I was really, really busy. But at least now you have a fully featured drawing application, which you can submit to the app store under your name. So I hope you have enjoyed this video series. Leave down in the comments any suggestions any suggestions, feedback, or just anything you want to say in general down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Ben. Peace out.